Hi, this is Katie from JL Audio, and we're here at Pacific Stereo in Riverside, California, just outside of Los Angeles, and we're about to check out Claude Von Stroke's 1980 Rolls-Royce Corniche. I'm here with Philip from Pacific Stereo, and he's going to give us a little bit more information on what went into this car. So Philip, what was Pacific Stereo's goal in designing this system for Claude Von Stroke? Uh, well, a Rolls-Royce is a very classy vehicle, so of course we wanted to keep it, you know, along with those lines, we wanted to keep it very classy, but also provide him with the best sound quality that we could in such a confined space. Awesome, and how would you describe the sound of this vehicle? It sounds phenomenal, like you're in a concert, but in, in the comfort of your own car. It's really, it's fantastic. So can you talk to me a little bit about the custom work that actually went into this car? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we did a custom box for the JL subs, the TW3s. Uh, we did, we mounted the Media Master right in the center, like where a typical radio would go. Um, this is more like a, most people think it's a boat or um, UTV application, but we do it a lot in cars where there's not a lot of space because it's very shallow. And uh, we did custom trim work around the dash, custom embroidery. Um, pretty much anything that we could do custom, we did do custom. Awesome. And the trim work that you're talking about, is that stuff that you guys do here at Pacific Stereo? Uh, yes, we do everything in-house. We don't outsource anything. And uh, it's one of the things that we do that not a lot of shops can do because it's very difficult and time consuming. So I noticed you guys also used our 10-inch TW3 subwoofers. Why did you guys go without woofer? Uh, the main reason was because the mounting depth uh, didn't leave us a lot of room for the bigger subs like a W6 or a W3. And the sound quality with the size ratio just worked with the TW3s. So can you tell me more about some of the details that went into this install? Yeah, definitely. Uh, one of the cool things we did was we mounted the Media Master uh, remote actually in the, the center console of the back seat so you control everything from there. Uh, another thing we did is we added the C5 components in the doors with custom lighting. Every time you open the door it lights up JL Audio. It's a pretty cool little addition we did. So I know that working on classic cars can sometimes be a challenge. Can you guys talk about some of the things that you were up against when doing this install? Yeah, one of the major things we had to deal with was the gas tanks actually located between the trunk and the body of the car. So we had to find a way to kind of port it over the gas tank to where you still get the base inside the, the cabin of the car, which was pretty difficult. And we also made a custom enclosure underneath the back seat uh, that we put the C5 speakers in to kind of help bring in the bass forward a little bit. How much power is driving the system? We actually have JL Audio's brand new RD amplifiers. We have a total of four of them making about 1800 watts of power throughout the whole system.